Check out this guy's uh, wedding, B Lord's wedding. Not the first wedding, no. they did it traditional five years ago, and now they decided to do the white wedding. Very simple and elegant. No spraying of money, no pressure, no issues, nothing, nothing, just rest of mind. You know what? I think I'm going to vote Bill Lord's wedding uh, as the best wedding of the year. Even bigger than... Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say bigger than David. Oh, sorry, sorry. Not bigger than David. But the best weddings for me of the year. There is so much guarantee. You understand? There is so much future in it. There's so much guarantee of success. There's so much future in it as well. There's so much love. Filled with happiness and joy, so much gift, so much blessings. Because they did the first wedding five years ago, traditionally, and they have kids. Bill Lord has grown to be a multi millionaire, if not billionaire in era. Billionaire, multi billionaire in era. And of course, everything just goes on from there. And I decided to do it, the white wedding now, with less stress. They did the reception in his house. Few tables, few family members. No Ashwebi. No Ashwebi. No uh, bride's groom, just best man. No ladies, bridesmaids, just one woman. And brothers and sisters, close family. No uh, business associates. No invitation of the Aobi Kubana, Kubana chief priest. I know we are all individuals with different perspective about life. We do different wants and different needs. So, I'm not saying his own is way more better. But I'm just saying, in my book, I prefer be Lord kind of wedding without stress. Stress-free. We keep giving so much to people that do not deserve it, guys. Because of show off, show off, show off, show off, show off. In fact, uh, watching this, watching the video, the wedding, everything, uh, I was inspired by not giving a damn about what anybody feels. You know, go just chop my money free like that. I was re inspired, guys, were lying. In fact, uh, I will verse so there is something I'm about to do. I'll just I will just stop. I don't go do him again. Many people go sit down for hours. I will not I beg no memory I won't chop. I know people get money rich, be lot safe, and uh, people know even people borrow to wear it nowadays. Whenever they want to marry, they will move from one uncle to another uncle to one ogre to another ogre, submitting invitation, soliciting for funds, and they no get wedding is supposed to be easy. Since when marriage eh, can become burden? Not the marriage inside, not be marriage or inside marriage or the starting of the marriage. Since when it has become a body? Before in those old days, they bring gifts, bring yam, bring things to to the groom or to the to, 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 to the couple so that they can sustain themselves a little time inside that. But right now, people just come to eat and you spend millions and millions and millions and millions and yet we all pray to God and say, God, please help me, help me, help me, I want to wait. And if God in any way force you to do your wedding the way you want to do it. Normally, marriage to God eh, is not about imam or pastor, let's just be honest. Marriage to God is the family, the two family. Most especially the parents agreeing, agreeing with each other. The man and the wife, the groom and the bride agreeing with each other. And then anybody can just they can say a prayer from there. From there, that is stands, and God will witness it. That is marriage. That is marriage to God. But traditionally, you know, they bring in. You buy this one. I don't know who started that traditional marriage or that traditional right of buying and buying and buying and buying things. Somebody started it. And I go go punish who started. <laughs> Somebody started it, guys. Let's be honest. 
Somebody started it. And I'm going to punish whoever started it. Just look at sweet marriage. Simple. Simplicity of it. The best. Nothing was rented. Well, guys, uh, that is left for them. Although, David of wedding still remain the biggest wedding in Africa. So far, I'm not going to doubt that. The money spent. Everybody's praying and happy. But we already know what guarantees good marriage. What guarantees long-lasting marriage. No matter how you spend a little dime. Little dime. If marriage wants to go spoil. No matter how you spend the highest money. If you want to spoil, you go spoil. But statistically, as proven that, those people who do not stress themselves about marriage, would never stress themselves about their own marriage, last longer. Statistically. I'm, just, I'm not saying this one is better than the other. But statistically, go check your research. So let's go to Ghana. So there is this guy, you know, eh, they say if you want to do something, do it a little bit moderate. Don't overdo it. <laughs> you know what this guy did? This guy who couldn't even do like two hours, two hours cookathon. World Guinness World Record, who couldn't even do it, decided to forge a Guinness World Record certificate for 802 hours, 24, 25 minutes. 802 hours. Even the Hilda Bassi said the person who took over Hilda Bassi couldn't even make it to 120 hours. But Ghana, Ghana guy. Ah, Africa, Africa. That is why they say, if Africa want thief, eh, they know the thief small. They'll just thief big. If he had made it 200 hours, it would have been understandable. Man, 180 hours. Maybe Guinness World Record not be able minor. But you put 802 hours. Is it even humanly possible for somebody to, to cook 802 hours straight? Do you know what is 802 hours? It's like a month. <laughs> it's like almost a month or two weeks to three weeks cooking straight having minimal sleep of 10 minutes you are no it's not humanly possible it can never be possible but this Ghana guy said it was possible and he did it uh, uh, then Guinness World Record immediately responded and said thank you for your message no this is not true it does not hold the GWR title and that is not our candidate. The current and true order is the longest cooking marathon is 119 hours, 57 minutes, 60 seconds. And was achieved by Alan Fisher in Ireland. This woman took over from Ilda Bassi. So this guy was immediately arrested. You were greedy. You were greedy. 802 hours? Is it even humanly possible? Person no fee even make them for 120 hours. But you, you just forged the record? Diminishing the name of a country because of your selfish interest? And people actually clapped for him? You guys were never there when you started this stuff. So how did you even think that he even did it? This guy no share food. He just took some crazy pictures. And made up some crazy uh, 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 certificate. Man. If it was 140 hours, this guy for I for beg on his behalf. But 802 hours? Are you crazy? You know too much? <laughs> you know too much? Is it humanly possible to even do 200 hours? It's not humanly possible to do 150. That's why the greatest attempt is 119 hours. But you do 802 hours with your lies? Oh, this guy should be arrested. However, he was pleading though, crying to his gods to forgive him. It's for my first lady. This is Lodina Mahama, Oninikunu. This is Amadia Shopping Center. The 
that create an abo road. Then we say, Assembly Ma, Honorable Ibrahim, Lauda, Honorable Rashi, Gana Funina, Gana Fanangina, Nia Singina, Gana Chef as a switch, Obia, or then the one day in the new day, a better. Why is it I'm mentioning people's name? Okunu can say. Okunu my famous in my did you who can say. When you were about to forge that tea, your mind will tell you, say, oh God, reason now, 802 hours, you do too much. At least, I know you would have been caught oh, for even to put two, 200 hours. But, ah, 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 no reason now. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching your boy again. I'm going to catch you next time.